The hymn for today's Mass is number 30 in the weekday hymnal on the music and devotion button, number 30. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise. Lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God forever. God of power and might, come into our presence today. Strengthen us now with the spirit of faith we gather in your name. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise, lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. First, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no god at all, destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, emulate flesh, and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house of so Israel, Israel trusts, trusts in the, in the Lord. Lord. Our God is in heaven, whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house, house of, of Israel the trusts, trusts in the Lord. the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. 
The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness at the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with the pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned. Like sheep without a shepherd, then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abandoned, but the labors are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out labors for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in the Gospel passage that we just heard, we meet Jesus the healer at work, a dumb, Demoniac was brought to Jesus by his friends with the hope that Jesus would set the troubled man free. He had not only lost his ability to speak, but was also greatly disturbed in mind and spirit. The first message from this miracle story is that Jesus miraculous cast both scorn and wonder at the same time from those who professed faith in God. The crowds looked with awe at the wonderful works which Jesus did. But the religious leaders attributed the same work to the power of the devil. They disbelieved because they refused to recognize Jesus as the Messiah. They were too proud to submit to Jesus, but the sick and their friends who approached Jesus surrendering themselves to the power of God. Pride distance us from God, whereas Humility brings us closer to him. The second message is to call to examine our life. What help and hope can we give to someone who experiences distress? Do we offer them Jesus and his gospel? Whoever the gospel is proclaimed God's kingdom is made manifest and new life and freedom is given to them, those who respond with faith. That proclamation brings about faith. 
and trust in the lord jesus this is turn help us to bring our troubles and the troubles of the others to the lord with the expectant faith as the friends and neighbors of the dumb did in the deaf and dumb who is healed look at the proper order and the sequence of healing the devil is first cast out then the other bodily benefits follow and finally the knowledge of god is attained this is clear from the admiration over what took place never has the like been seen in israel all the towns and all the villages are enlightened by the power and presence of christ and the people are freed from sin and sickness let us ask our lord to grant us the grace to share his gospel with our fellow human and thus bring healing to the suffering and afflicted brothers and sisters among us amen with confidence in our god who hears us let us bring our needs before him for the church as the body of christ here on earth may the lord grant us patience for one another bearing with one another in love with humble and gentle hearts let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear us for the world national and local leaders May the God who gives wisdom to the wise, knowledge to the discerning, grant them just and prudent decision making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are persecuted for their faith in Christ, may the hope of resurrection fill them with courage and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the grace of God embolden and strengthen us in our lives of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the glory of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this mass, we remember Jeffrey Hawk. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us bread of life Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for our spiritual drink
pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the oblation dedicated to your name purify us o oh lord and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through christ our lord the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent us our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so has to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we de declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy 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 Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory O son in the highest blessed is he who comes in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of The mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection We offer you Lord the bread of life and chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Daniel our bishop and all the clergy 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distrust as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to prize you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The masses and go in peace. Thanks be to God. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise. Lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God forever. God of mercy and truth, who brings us from night into day, nourish our lives with the spirit of hope and shield us from all fear. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise, lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory.